Today I wanted to show you how we in our studio cut paper. We are currently using a Glowforge laser to cut our cardstock. Now, paper is one of my very favorite mediums to animate with. You've probably seen it in a lot of the work that I've created. We recently did a really big paper animation. It involved so much cutting. And before we started, we decided we should buy a laser cutter so that we could really pump through the cutting of these paper illustrations quickly. Before using the Glowforge, we were using a vinyl cutter. It was a Graphtech CE6040, and it is like a champion, a workhorse of a cutter. But there are some things about it um, that are maybe a little bit better than the Glowforge, um, and there are some things that are not as good. Like the Glowforge is so fast, and incredibly precise. I mean, the, the pros of the Glowforge are very much more than the pros of the Graphtech. One of the things you can't cut on the Glowforge is vinyl, but on the Graphtech, that's what it's built for, so you can cut vinyl really easily. But we're talking about paper today, and the Glowforge is amazing at cutting paper. Mason, um, when we were getting into the, all this paper cutting, sorry, I got itchy nose. Mason, when we were getting into all this paper cutting, sat down and ran so many tests. Tests on all the different variables on the back end of the Glowforge website and figured out like the perfect settings for us to consistently cut our cardstock really well. And so one thing to keep in mind when you're cutting on a laser cutter is you are cutting with a laser. And so it is a hot, you know, laser focused <laughs> beam of light and it does cause some burning. And so on the back side of the illustration, you will see some like little burn marks. So you need to be careful about your front sides and back side, making sure that your front side of your paper is face up so that the burn marks will be underneath and you won't see them in your animation. If you need a piece of paper that's going to work front side up and upside down, then you just need to cut out two pieces and sandwich them together, glue them together or something so that you don't have burn pieces. But that's like the only downside. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to kind of jump in and show you the process. First, we're gonna talk about file creation, then pulling it into the Glowforge software, what settings we use, and then we're gonna cut a piece of paper together, take it out the Glowforge, and show you how it looks. So let's get started. Hi, okay, here we are. I've got my desktop here. We, the, so I, we're gonna cut something together. <laughs> In the software that I like to use to create the cut files is Illustrator, Adobe's Illustrator program. And so here we are, we're going to create a new, oh, I'm a quick time, but a new project. Uh, we're just gonna make it, let's see. Yeah, eight, whatever that is. I, I'm really not concerned about the dimensions. Um, depending on the product, the project, I would probably be a little bit more concerned. So we're going to just type. We're gonna do um, our, the file we're gonna create is going to be out of words. So, how to cut paper on a glow forge. And we're just gonna format it how we want it. We're gonna make it bigger. Oops. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna change the font to a different font. Da 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 da. I like this. That's nice. Let's make it bold. Let's do a little uh, like kerning here. Make it bigger. Uh-huh. How to cut paper on a glowforge. So that's what we're gonna cut right there. How to cut paper on a glowforge. This is what we're gonna cut. So, now, because we're doing text, what we need to do is outline this text. I'm just gonna grab that and then click over here, create outlines. 
and it is outlined. And then in order to have the file ready for cutting, we're going to save this file as an SVG. So we're gonna go file, save as, um, Glowforge how to save it. The file type is an SVG. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and click save. Okay, and our file is created. So now what we need to do is we need to open up the Glowforge application and bring it in. So it's app.glowforge.com. And then I fill in my information and sign in. And what we're gonna do is we are going to click on right here, create to create a new project. And we're gonna go new blank design. So I'm gonna click that. It brings up an image of something I had previously cut. These are little like veggie, um, <laughs> they're little gardening sticks that we made. Uh, but I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click upload and I'm going to click Glowforge How To and choose for upload. And in the meantime, I need to turn on laser. I have mine <laughs> hooked up to our Amazon Alexa. So I just have to say, Alexa, turn on the laser. And it turns on. <laughs> Let me show you. So the laser just turned on. Let me see if I can show you better. Yeah, wrong knob. Okay, so the blue forge is on. And now we need to come over here and pick out some paper to cut. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our piece of paper to the Glowforge. Just gonna open it up, place it center-ish. And then I have these magnets. Let's see if I can pull focus. Come on, my camera, please focus. There we go, these magnets. And I will use these magnets on the corners of the paper just to keep it down because we do turn on a fan kind of suck out all the smoky air and I don't want the paper to blow away or wiggle. For the most part, it actually does a good job and I don't actually <laughs> always need to put in the magnets, but it's a nice little safety precaution and it does help. So there's that. And now we're gonna come over to our project and we're going to get the file ready for cutting. So you see here, we have our cutout. Um, letters and this camera it just registered the um paper we put into the glow forge so now what we're gonna do before i do anything i'm gonna click screen record so that i can use that and we're recording okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to fit this cut file onto the paper where we want it so I'm just going to pull it kind of to the center. Um, normally when I'm cutting paper, I would probably choose a corner to kind of maximize the space, but I'm actually gonna use this for the thumbnail of this YouTube video. So I thought might as well just put it in the middle. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to unknown. This is the substrate and it's saying, I don't know what it is you're cutting. What we are gonna choose is we're gonna use an uncertified material. This isn't a Glowforge purchased material. And our thickness of this paper is 0 0.01 inches. And we're gonna click Submit. So now it has chosen, well, why we put in that um, measurement is so that the camera knows where to focus and kind of knows how thick your substance is. And then we're gonna come over here to the Glowforge settings and enter settings. Now we have created a custom cut setting for uh, paper. So I'm gonna go over to here to cut and I'm gonna click my cardstock, 110 pound cardstock. I'm gonna click on that and I'm ready to cut, but let me show you what these settings look like. So we have our speed set at 500 and our precision power set at 85. And then we only are going to be doing one pass and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna come here and click back and we're ready to cut. So I'm gonna click over here, print. And it is thinking about the print. 
and in just a second, it's gonna tell me that it's ready to go, and then the blue button on the Glowforge is going to glow, and we are going to click it. But first, we wanna make sure that the filter is turned on. I just wanted to do all of this before I turn the filter on so my sound quality was decent, because the filter is a little bit loud. Um, so let's go over to the Glowforge, and let's show you what is happening now. Okay, our button is glowing blue. We're gonna click it right after we say, Alexa, turn on the filter. Okay, so now our cut is done. We give it a couple seconds to filter out all of the sinky air, and we open up the top, take off our magnets, and our cut is done. I like to keep little kind of like Tupperwares by me. These are from Target and they're so nifty. Um, and I use these to kind of grab all of the pieces off the glow forge. I'll sometimes have one for garbage too. I'm just gonna put everything into this little Tupperware thing and get it all off. And in the meantime, I'm gonna say, Alexa, turn off the laser. There we go. Now it's a little bit quieter. This is gathering up all the pieces. Then we can use them however we need to for our potential animations. If you're cutting really small pieces, like these little colons, what you can do is actually put a second sheet of paper underneath it. And when you cut it, it will only cut through the first sheet. And when you pull off the first sheet, it will leave all the cut pieces on the second piece of paper. That's really helpful when you're doing small things too, because then you can just pull off the top sheet and then just kind of like empty out the second sheet. So here we are with our cut paper and all of our pieces. So my friends, there you have it. We cut our piece on the glow forge. And it's really easy and it's really fast. It took, I think a minute and 12 seconds to cut this and it cut it perfectly. So all the little pieces are very cleanly cut. And I'll show you the burn on the other side. So there's a little bit, come on. Focus, there we go. So there's a little bit of burn marks on the underside of our illustration or our words. And that's okay when we just show this side. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, what else should I tell you? So a lot of times when we're creating paper illustrations, we're actually cutting out multiple sheets of paper, multiple colors, then assembling and gluing them together after the fact. But really I just wanted to give you a quick overview on how to cut paper with your glow forge. So we cut 110 pound cardstock. I shared the settings. I can share them below in the description. And that's all I got for you right now. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and that this was helpful in some way. Bye.